Number six, rebalancing discipline, systematic rebalancing on highs and lows to eliminate the need to forecast and predict. It's a discipline. It's not a prediction. You know, people say that, oh, you know, you're predicting the future. You're getting out of, uh, you know, getting out of stocks when they're high and you're, you're buying stocks when they're low. Well, no, we're doing that when your account gets out of balance. That's the trigger. It's not the forecast. It's the trigger is if your account gets out of balance. So you don't have to try and predict the future and guess right every single time. So buy low, sell high discipline. More importantly, it's risk management. We don't want to get your portfolio too high a risk. We want to keep your portfolio very consistent. Market movements provide opportunities to buy asset classes when they're underweighted and overvalued, and to sell securities when they're overweighted or overvalued. Okay, here's what we have in our investment policy statement. Rebalancing techniques will be used to establish target percentages in each investment acceptable and acceptable deviation from targets will be set. Usually about three to five percent out of balance is when we'll start to rebalance the portfolio. Royal American Financial Advisors will seek to rebalance the portfolio in a low cost fashion. We don't do it very often. Last year I think we had to do it once. A uh, year before it might have been twice in volatile years. Rebalance will be employed first to keep portfolio risk parameters in line. When Royal American Financial Advisors rebalances an account, it sells holdings that are appreciating in value to buy other holdings that may be declining in value. This investment philosophy helps keep the portfolio positioned in various different asset types so that when the asset type becomes profitable, the account is positioned to take advantage of the upturn. You saw how those things change all the time. All the different asset classes change all the time. So if you're diversified, chances are you're going to own some of it. And when it takes off, we already own it. We're not chasing it. So basically, it's sell a little bit and buy a little bit.